And right now, somebody else new for me, for you as well, perhaps, is Nigel from Adventure Plus. Nigel, hello. Hello. Good to meet you, Andy. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely fine. And we're actually neighbours here as well, because you're next to our stand. Yes, that's how you came to invite me. <laughs> it was, because you were next to us. Right. Now, uh, just tell us, uh, Adventure Plus, it, the name does conjure up certain images in my head before I saw your banner, uh, but I won't steal your thunder. Just tell us a little bit, what, what is Adventure Plus all about? Um, the strapline is out there in him, basically, and it's about providing young people with opportunities they might not have otherwise to do all sorts of activities, be it canoeing, archery, mountain biking, climbing, all sorts of things. Last year, I think they dealt with around 10,000 young people through a combination of school residentials, Christian adventure holidays, taking things out on the road as well. Um, dads and, well, not dads and lads anymore, plus one weekends. So either parent is welcome to bring plus one. Men's adventure weekends, we should be plugging here. And tomorrow we'll be delivering archery out on the fields. I, uh, I did archery one time. Um, I can't say I was very good. It was kind of exhilarating and sort of fun, but it also hurt my thumb just a little bit as well, probably because I, I wasn't exactly doing great. I wasn't nearly 15. Uh, now, so you, you talked about adventure uh, weekends away and stuff. I, is this in specific parts or is this anywhere in the UK? Mainly it's centred on two locations, but they do do mobile, we do do mobile work as well. The main location is only about 10 miles east of here, uh, just outside uh, Farringdon in Oxfordshire where they, we have a accommodation centre, a nice brick-built brick built modernish conference centre that can take, I believe, 50 people and a, a yurt village now with accommodation for 100, uh, 40 acres of open land, which is gradually being developed. The plan is, once the overhead electric cables have been moved, to build Britain's first in, inland co-steering lake. Uh, okay, we need to unpack that one a little bit. Uh, so the UK's will first. J j just tell us, where, what's that? Because that, I don't know what that means. Um, coast steering is generally done off the cliffs and things, and it's a combination of cliff walking, jumping in for a swim, basically. Okay, so uh, I would assume somebody's going to check the depth of the water, because at Scouts we did this, uh, there's a particular scout camp we used to go to, and people were jumping off this cliff into a into a quite a, a decent river actually i've forgotten quite where it was herefordshire i think perhaps um but presumably someone is checking that because that could be a little little risky yes i mean this will be a purpose-built facility when when it happens i say waiting for the electric board at the moment because at the moment it's got an electric cable flow going over it which the electric board have agreed to move fortunately thanks be to god at their cost i love stories like that we want to do something and then somebody comes along and says you know what we'll we'll sort this at cost um, that's always a win, isn't it? Uh, so what are some of the things that people can expect? I mean, you're talking about, you know, your plus ones, but is this teenagers? Is this younger children? Who, who's, who are the sort of the, the ages that you're, you're reaching out? Um, for the holiday week, uh, holiday weeks, it's eight plus generally. So there are two coming up this summer, uh, one for eight to 12s, one for 12s to 18s. They also do gap years. So if you know someone who wants to learn how to instruct these things, they can spend a year working with A+, learning these skills, and, you know, they're transferable. And many go on to carry on working for A+. As I said, work with about 10,000 young people a year through school residentials. Uh, there's a second centre now in Herefordshire, but they also do out-and-about activities at various other locations around the country. I do remember being at primary school. I have no idea what the place was. It's a long time ago. I've been to bed since then a few times. But I remember it was kind of an outdoor adventure place. And what I remember even now, perhaps 40 years on, is it was just a brilliant, fun weekend doing stuff that felt so exciting that I wouldn't have got to do anywhere else. And it's such a, a, an amazing possible opportunity uh, for people to try archery for the first time, or whatever it is. Have you got an activity that you particularly like that they do that you just think, oh, that's brilliant? Um, I particularly enjoy canoeing, actually. I mean, I didn't do it this year. I have done it in the past. The big fundraiser of the year is Whitney to Westminster, which is 127 miles, done over six days, uh, in a in, uh, Canadian canoe. So we have various lovely churches along the way put us up uh, on their church hall floors and feed us beautifully often take us into their homes to have a shower because after a day on the river you can be a bit 
And that ra- that was done over April to the beginning of May this year and raised about ten thousand pounds for A plus. Wow, um, that's that's impressive. Just for people like me who don't know what a Canadian Q is, as opposed to a canoe, and um, what what would be a Canadian canoe that's different from another canoe? Um, it's an open canoe for one or two people. You kneel or sit on a bench, um, and you're using a one-sided paddle, think of Y five O, but without the outrigger. Fair enough. Okay, um, so thank you, Nigel. If people want to find out more about you and think, oh, this sounds good, I want to volunteer or I want to send my children there or I could go there as a family, how do they find out more about Adventure Plus? Where, have you got a website? Yeah, the website is very simple. It's adventureplus.uk. There you are. doesn't get much simpler. Adventureplus.uk. Um, Nigel, thank you for your time. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for being our kind neighbour with us doing radio next to where you're trying to talk to people. Um, thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you. Thanks for having me on, Andy. The Pure Newsletter comes out once a month and is designed to build up, entertain and encourage you. Sign up for our newsletter at pure247radio.org.